sky. Here's a graphic demonstration of what's going to happen in 2012, but also in 2011 and 2010, just like it happened just recently in 2009. Here's a, a diagram. I'm going to put the, uh, the magnifying glass on here. You can see that the magnifying glass has got a small circle. I can make it tighter. It doesn't start burning until you make it very, very small. Okay, and I've tried it a couple of times already, as you can see on the paper. Paper doesn't burn until it gets 600 degrees usually. There it goes. Okay. You can see that this is uh, burning a hole in the paper. It has to get to 600 degrees. I can smell it now. But the path that the Earth went through in December and January is here's the center of the, of the galactic lensing. The Earth only grazed it this year. Next year, you're going to see, instead of a 5 degree bump up in the temperature, you're going to see a 25 bump. In 2011, it's going to be 100 degrees hotter for at the most extreme. And in October to March 2012, there could be a 300 degree bump in temperature at the equator. And guess what, folks? That's hotter than water boiling. Who's going to survive that at the equator? Only people that can stay inside a cave. And I don't even know if they'll be able to come out at night. Anyway, it's time to consider what to do about something like this. If I was living at the equator, I'd move. Anyway, thank you.